everyone, how are you doing? So earlier we talked about when the teeth were coming out, so now we're talking about mouth hygiene in general. Before I start, if you haven't subscribed to the family already, please do so as it will help a sister out. I'm trying to build a community so we can have a lot of people commenting and you know learn from each other's experiences. So subscribe so you can know when I'm posting videos and everybody can talk and you know we can have that conversation going and you know keep helping each other out. So mouth hygiene. It starts as soon as the baby is born pretty much. It is recommended that you wash the baby's mouth with a damp cloth after every feeding breastfeeding or bottle feeding doesn't matter after the baby eats it's recommended that you wash the baby's mouth I'm gonna be honest my mother's truth here I did not do that all the time first of all I was way too tired to sometimes even remember second of all my fingers are gigantic and I always feel so bad just sticking it in the baby's mouth with the towel on top of it I feel like it's too I don't know and I really started taking care of them when they start erupting. So then, you know, I used a little brush, you know, the really, really fine brush, the baby brush. They have those in any stores, you can find them. And, you know, gently, gently brush them all around and the tongue. They really get used to it. Honestly, in that phase until my son is three now, and that's still like so much fun and joy to go brush the teeth. I have seen videos where they're basically pinning the kids down so they can brush their teeth. I have not had to do that. Thank goodness, because I feel so bad for those kids. Yes, I know it can be difficult, especially when you're trying to reach the far back areas. I don't know, there has to be a better way. <laughs> Bottom line is, the teeth need to be brushed. It is recommended that we use fluoride toothpaste. Some party may disagree. You know, it's, it's one of those conversations that it's conflicted all over the place. So you just choose what is best for you. I'm using fluoride for my kids. One of the things that is recommended, that's one thing that I follow to the T, I did it without even knowing it was a thing. I never put my kids to bed with any kind of food. No juice, no milk, nothing. Just water, because they love waking up in the middle of the night and ask for water. So I just give them water, like a bottle, that's fine. And I would never give them a bottle of juice to walk around the house and drinking. You're sitting here, you're drinking your juice, after that here's some water, now you can walk around. I didn't realize that him walking around with the juice would cause cavities. I didn't put any thought to that. For me the thing was, if you walk around with the juice, then chances are you're gonna, you know, splash it somewhere or, you know, shake the bottle, leave it somewhere and then I'm gonna have a sticky spot and, and I have to go clean up, so I didn't want to do that. But then it made a lot more sense when I heard why it's not a good idea in the first place. So, win-win. And then no sweets before bedtime. Doesn't that go without saying? I'm pretty sure it does. But yeah, no sweets before bedtime. So the odd time that something happens and make sure you have to brush those teeth really well before bedtime. So eventually we teach flossing that has been a hard one and it still is we're still learning how to teach we teach the proper ways to brush in the baby phase I usually I brush it myself and then I give him the brush to play with and then my three-year-old now he's like no I want to do it by myself I want to do it by myself I'm like uh, sure you can after I do it it's time for me to do it and move on to the next thing I have to do but I still supervise my seven-year-old they don't really know how to do everything and you know the, the ways of putting the hands properly to reach all the way in the back the next thing is we keep our regular dentist appointments so we don't miss those and they've been watching the kids since they had a full mouth of teeth they are very good with them before they even get into you know the laying down part but they tell them stories about how to clean your teeth and why to clean your teeth and things like that and of course they get the super prize at the end and then we go as a family, so everybody goes one after the other, so they get a chance to see the parents go first and not freak out, and then they don't freak out. Kids, feed off your energy. See you freak out, they will freak out too. And then of course, there's always what you eat. Believe it or not, not every healthy thing is good for your teeth. For example, blueberries, they stain the teeth. Bananas get stuck to the teeth, it's sugar. Oranges, delicious. Of course, you have to eat it, it's a fruit, you eat it but in moderation obviously you're probably not gonna eat four or five oranges in a day that's why vitamins are for a nice proper balanced food obviously the less sugar the better and water is basically washes everything inside your mouth so always drink water and brushing you know morning and night i really find those for the kids those brush toothbrushes that have the lights that kind of it they start they press it and then by the time the light turns off that means it's time to finish so it really gives the kid a sense of like the time frame that it, they should finish the whole mouth. The bottom line is, you wanna avoid tooth decay. 
It's painful and it's ugly. Best to avoid it, especially in those little ones. Neither my husband nor I have those um, metal thing that you put in your teeth. We never have any cavities. Anyway, everybody's teeth is nice and shiny. We eat fairly healthy. Mouthwash is also a pretty good one, I find. Lately, they have the ones for kids. I taught them how to goggle very early on, so right after they're done brushing their teeth, then they will goggle with, you know, water, mouthwash. Definitely check your dentist if you're worried about anything. Anyway, if I missed anything, please let me know in the comment section below. Like I said, subscribe to the family if you haven't already. Like this video, and I look forward to hearing your comments and opinions on the matter down below. I'll see you later. Take care. Bye.